Uh, Josh, Mr. The Mac and Josh, it's time for the news. It's almost time to go home. Google Home for the holidays with Android News. That very good. That was that was so good. I'm really bravo. Proud of you. That, that was, was that awesome. was bright. That was cranky hippo level Android yeah. News yeah. bumper. I'm telling you, good job, you, Mac and Josh. Josh. Well done. It. He he it fr- he worries about it all day long, but then yeah. when he does it, he delivers. Yeah, I should worry about it. Yeah. I yeah. do worry about so, it. So. Especially when you're introducing a segment talking about Google Home and Internet of Things and all that great stuff. Yes. Um, First, to kick things off, this isn't so much news, but uh, we've been talking a lot internally in the All About Android chat about our Google Homes and how we're using it. And it's the holiday season, and you see behind me my little mini Christmas tree. You also see my little Google Home. Um, We're going to do a live (laughs) demo, all right? This is what I did this weekend. (laughs) <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the Christmas tree lights with Google Home. You no, you're ready? not. That's impossible. I, I am. You ready? Okay. Okay, Google. Turn off the Christmas tree inside. Sure. Turn the Christmas tree. No, oh, oh, that just happened. Oh, my God. Oh, How cool is that? It's magic. So I, I, I went on a little uh, Internet of Things explosion last week. I ordered uh, s- s- uh, the Samsung Smart Things kit, which uh-huh. we've shown off on the show before, and they yeah. sponsored episodes. That's right. Um, so I got the Smart Things hub. I got a couple of smart outlets. I got a Christmas tree in the living room. I got a Christmas tree out on the patio, and I set them up. So now I just tell Google Home, turn them on and off, and it works flawlessly. So I'm going to turn it back on. You ready? Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. okay, Google. Turn on the Christmas tree inside. Okay. No, my, it happened again, but in That's reverse. So cool. That's really cool. When Ron it? told me about this over email, I was like, what? In real life. So, <laughs> Ron, does this only work for you or does this work for other Google homeowners as well? Well, no, well, I mean, I, I, I'm the only Google homeowner in my home. I mean, me and my girlfriend are the only ones here. I haven't mm-hmm. opened my doors mm-hmm. up to the neighborhood to let everyone try. But um, <laughs> now here, yes. here's here, here's what I found. These are the, These are my findings. Um, I had to set up smart things and then I set up Google assistant. I set up like a little, not, I didn't use IFTT cause smart things connects directly to Google assistant. Um, I gave that outlet a nickname and I called it Christmas tree inside. And if I say anything else, turn on the Christmas lights inside, it won't work. Like you got to get right. the phrase correct. Yeah. Um, the other thing I found is that the smart things, smart outlet doesn't always like to stay connected to the hub, which is not the fault of Google home. Um, what I find is that sometimes it just, it just kind of goes away in ether and, and it doesn't respond either through Google home or through the smart things app. I've done some research. It has to do with the smart outlet and line of sight to the hub and and within range and things like that. But that said, I'm getting about 85, 90% success rate. So, which I think is pretty good. So, So, um, uh, I was gonna say for the outside tree, which you can't see from here, I got a GE outdoor wireless uh, Z wave outlet. That connected to smart things and then just set it up the same way through assistant. Wow. So that was going to be one of my questions is if that's the inside tree, you must have an outside tree. So I like yes, that Ron has an outside tree, by the way. Mm, yeah, well, that's, that's the thing we have. We have, I mean, we were in a small New York apartment and we got a, a nice five foot tree. We put on the patio, put twinkle lights on. Um, but then I was like, I need a tree inside. So I got the little Charlie Brown tree. Nice. So, yeah. That's awesome. I, uh, so I over black Friday had a really good deal, found a really good deal on the hue lights Yes. Hub with yes. the three color bulbs. I think it's second second generation. Mm-hmm. I had a gift certificate for Best Buy and the sale, you know, so I ended up getting it the whole package for like 70. Normally it's like $200. Yeah. So I was like, okay, great. I've always wanted to get Hue lights. Hue lights work with Google Home. So right. now, you know, in my living room, I have two of the lights set up in our two different lamps and I can say, turn living room lights red or turn down brightness yep. by 30% or whatever. I get shown. <clears throat> and when, you, I mean, when you do it, it, and it works and it works it's so almost cool. every time. It's just, it's, it's like magic. It's, it's, it's awesome. funny because, because when we were talking about it, Flo was like, oh my God, take a video and we'll show it on the show. And I was like, no, 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 I'm going to do it live. And literally live. for the best three days, I've been like, oh my God, please work, please work, please work. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad that it did work and that it didn't, you know, and, and I, 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 I've seen the Hue lights in action and they just look super cool. I don't have them yet because of the lighting in our apartment, that sort of thing. Hue but, lights are um, awesome. But I mean, it's, it's, it show a, it took me five minutes to set up. 
I mean, the, the biggest pain in the butt was getting the smart outlet to connect to the SmartThings hub. That was the only problem I ran into, um, the actual setting up the connection. It just wasn't seeing it for a little. I had to walk away and then come back and try. Um, but the Google Home integration was awesome. And it, it's, you know, I can I can rename that tree, whatever I want to call it. I could call it, you know, turn the lights on, turn the living room on. I can do whatever what the trigger word is. And it responds. It's very polite. And it just it just works. That's what's cool. So, yeah. <laughs> It's very polite. That's very important. That's an important part of it. That I, I'm curious, though, like how frequently do you try to do something and you go, oh, well, I guess I can't do that yet. In what in what sense? Like you, you say something to it and it, it does the opposite of, of what has just happened on screen with the with the tree. You, you ask oh, and it's yeah. like, ugh, ugh, I don't know how to do that just yet. I mean, every now and then. I mean, I mean, with Google, with Google Home, I'm finding you're finding you find the limits of it real quickly. Like there's there's been a couple of times where I've asked it three or four times, and like the the first answer is I'm sorry, I don't know how to do that yet, or I'm still learning, and that that sort of thing. And you kind of you know, but I'm at the point now after having the Google Home for a month and a half now, I think, where I mean it's I use it for kitchen timers when I'm cooking, I, I'm uh, you know playing and controlling music. Uh, now with the home integration and what are a little bit of news that we're talking about here is the fact that uh, an update is hitting the Google Home app, which is going to enable Netflix and Google Photos voice command. So you'll be able to link your Netflix account. And if you're uh, attached to a Chromecast uh, enabled uh, monitor, you can control Netflix with the Google Home, which is pretty cool. Like this is flow. Remember when you were complaining about Google Home and how it didn't do anything? Yeah. Things are going to start happening. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I, right now the thing I use it the most for is podcasts and news, right? Which, to be quite and honest, weather. makes me very, very like I love it. Yeah, the weather cracks me up. This, so for you guys with the weather, does it give you your city and your zip code? No, no, it just gives me the city. Okay. Hey, listen, to, okay, listen to this. You guys can hear my Google Home. Okay, it was loud enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay, Google, what's the weather? Long Island City, New York, one 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 zero one. It's forty two in the cloud. <laughs> Why does it? I don't know. Why, I don't know why it tells me the city, the state, and the zip code. I need to look at that. So is, it, I mean, is that like a New York, New York City York thing? Like, yeah, that's, that's a thing. When whenever we say where we where we live, we say the <laughs> whole city, state, zip code. It's important <laughs> every time. I mean, in, is it possible in the home app to define what home is and maybe you have it defined with a zip code versus just like, a, like yeah. an existential okay. question? That's a good question. <laughs> Look Let me see. Or, yeah, maybe, or, maybe it's, or maybe it's just using um, it's using device address. I, it has my full address because I entered home, my home into my Google account. Uh huh. OK, so but I have the same thing in my Google account. And for me, it just says. That's um, weird. Yeah, I did. I didn't yeah. get that specific with it, but yeah. I also to solve the um, to solve the multi -u multi account user problem, I changed oh. the nickname to my account, uh, both my girlfriend and my name. So it says hi in both our names. Oh, so. that's so nice and inclusive. I love I that. I know, right? Yeah. I just deactivated yeah. mine because <laughs> oh, <nice. laughs> I mean it might be handy to me, but I've got two un very unpredictable kids who could wreak havoc on on all of my <laughs> Google account if I left it. Yeah. Open, so. Yeah. Um, 